Hey everybody, it's Phineas Rage here, and today we are finally going to talk about how to build an underwater base. So, way over there, you can see the base we've already started, but today, since we want to start an underwater base, I thought I'd find a good location for it, which I thought would be over here. You might remember, last time I saw this, I said, Wow, I want to build a base in there somewhere. Well, I think I'm going to build a base, like, under here, somewhere, right? We're going to start here, in a nice shallow area, where the water isn't too deep, so it'll be easier to work with, right? And if we get underwater, we're like, oh no, I'm too underwater, I can swim up very easily. Okay, and then over here there's a deeper part, so when I want to extend the base and make it larger, I can build over here into this deeper part and have an even cooler underwater base. Alright, but there are a couple problems when building underwater that we need to deal with, and I'll show you some really simple solutions for dealing with this. The first one is running out of air, right? Look at this. See my air bubbles over my food? They tell me how much air I have left. Alright, now as you look there, you see that it's slowly counting down. To nothing. Uh oh, four. Oh, uh, there goes three and two. I'm about to run out of air. Now it happens. I'm underwater. I know. Ow. Ow. Oh, I'm under. Oh, I need to breathe. I need to breathe. So I swim up here. And look at that. Now, if I go underneath, there are all my air bubbles back. But oh, I should eat some mutton under here. Nom, 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 nom. You can eat under the water. It's fine. All right. And notice, all I need to do is go up just for a moment and I get all my air back. All right, so there's an even cooler trick. Look at this. Let's say I'm underwater and though it's too too far up there. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna run out of air. It's too far. I can't swim that far. You take a torch, get to something right next to your head level, okay, like this. Now watch. Ah, I can't breathe. Oh no. So I come right here. I put a torch on this wall. Boom. All of a sudden I can breathe. Why does that work? Well, I'll tell you. Now notice when I put a torch there, it pops off immediately. All right. But for a split second, when it is there. There's a torch here, so there can't be any water here, right? So boom, there's an air pocket right there at head level. So that's fun. That's a good trick you can use when you're underwater. Uh, if you're like, oh no, I'm running out of air, just put a torch against the wall at head level, and boom, you'll be able to breathe just for just for a moment, but that's long enough. So let me show you what I did to get started. So I made a door, you know, because that'll be fun. Here, let's make that symmetrical. Because right, I have those birch trees over there. And I just dug it in here, and I said, all right, I want the base to be around here somewhere. So I went down there. I found out kind of how far down I wanted to go. I went into here. I put some carpet down for fun. And I dug a hole down to about where I thought was roughly right. Okay, I put a ladder there, so I go up and down it. And then on the outside, I'll show you. I went down here. I'm going to close this door. Yeah. I went down here, and ugh, I dug in until I found, see, look at that. Ugh. And so I found this ladder. Now look at this. Look at this. Okay, this is very important. Water cannot go through doors. All right. So this is really simple. I can just do this. I can have. And you're like, but Finn, that's almost an underwater base already. But don't worry, we're gonna we're gonna make it even cooler. Okay. So here are some of the basic tricks. As you can see, water can't go through doors. All right. Water also can't go past ladders, uh, or signs, and and some other things. But today we're gonna deal with signs as the most important thing, and doors is the most important thing. Uh, let's see, I think this is probably right. Okay, so let's, let's make some signs. Now remember, signs are a stick, and then six wood up there. We're going to make two sets of them. Each one makes you three, so we're going to get six of those. And we're going to take some of that. All right, here we go. Now we're going to take these doors. Now, here, the first thing you want to do, right, is make sort of a roof. So, oh, let's get glass. Let's get glass. Now, I have a lot of glass because glass is fun for underwater bases, because you want to be able to see into the base from outside the water. Otherwise, what's the point, right? So it looks cool. All right, so I have this glass, and I got the glass by cooking, uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, sand. I got a lot of sand, and I cooked it, and that becomes glass, okay? Simple, easy peasy. All right, so I've got the sand, I've got the glass, I've got the doors, and I've got the signs, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a nice little safe place for me to stand without worrying about running out of air. Look at that. See, I made an entire hallway full of doors. Look at that. The water can't come down. It can't come in. That's all fine. So let's see. How big do we want this place to be? Well, I think, let's see. Do I have glass on me? I do. All right, let's, let's get these out here. Let's put the glass up. And what I like to do to start is figure out where the ceiling's going to be. So remember, the water's here. Boom. I want the ceiling to be here. 
Look at that. And I can jump up into the water and swim because it's right above my head. Isn't that funny? Okay. So I'm going to put that there. Whoop. Eh. Oh, well. I've got plenty of glass. And so I'm going to do this, and I can step out of this, see, as far as I want. And then I can walk back into the air, and I'm safe again. All right. There we go. Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to put some of this. Okay. So very... Oh, there we go. Boom. It's a very simple roof. Okay. So we have a ceiling right there. We've got this... This place here. What happens though if we take out this door? Right? What happens then? Well, the water comes back in. I go, oh, no. Now there's now there's water under here. So what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna take this door like so. Eh. Oh, am I trapped? There we go. <laughs> it gets tricky. So you don't want to have too many doors for too long. All right. But I am going to want to extend this a bit. So let's use the shovel for gravel. And remember, if I'm underwater, it takes longer. But if I'm standing here next to water, it's all fine. And remember, since the water can't go through the doors, it's perfectly safe. All right, let's see. Let's extend that a little bit. That looks pretty good. And let's take these walls out, and we're going to make them a little cooler looking. All right, let's get some... Uh, do we get the brick that we wanted? No. Let's go get the brick. Now, let's see. The brick... There's Here's how you get brick, by the way. You take cobblestone like this, okay? And you, you put some of it, let's say, in, in here, like that. And there, and you cook that. That becomes smooth stone. And then you take smooth stone, four of them, in a square pattern, and they become stone bricks, like that. So let's take these stone bricks, and let's start to make um, kind of like the outer wall, right? So we want this first part to be kind of small. Okay, there we go. Is that the, the roof is here yet? Yep, good, there's the roof. But notice there's still water here. We're going to deal with that in a minute. We'll tell you how to deal with that. Okay, so let's, so let's get the other wall going. Um, let's, take this, let's take this gravel out of here. We don't want that. Doesn't look too good. Oh, look, flint. Let's venture out there and get some flint. See how slow that takes? Look how long that takes. How slowly I dug that. That took a long time. Okay, so I've got that out of the way. Now let's take the brick. There we go. We're going to make ourselves a nice little wall again. The ceiling of glass is still here. Let's, let's follow it at least as far there we go, as the ceiling of glass. So, let's go up there. Oh, running out of air, running out of air, and uh, get in the door, and there we go, fine again. Okay, so I can come back out here. That looks, okay, so that's getting there, that's getting there. So what we're going to do now is we are going to empty out this entire area of water, because as you can see right now, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's underwater, but I can't really do anything in here. So let's, let's do this this way. Let's put a door here, here, and here. Let's open all those so I can go through. Okay, let's see, a door here that there and let's see can I put a door there okay yeah that's good how about this and put a door there okay and a door there okay now do you see what's happening or we're, we're making the water go away just by doing this so let's see can I put a door there too yes and we put another door maybe maybe there okay looking good so now we're gonna close these three doors these are the ones that are you know keeping the oh wait got that one there okay and we're taking axe and we're going to chop down these doors. It's just, you know, we start at the bottom. No big deal. Now, if we've done our job correctly, we've sealed off everything. There's a ceiling everywhere. We can do all this. And look at that. Boom. And now we have the beginnings of an underwater base, right? We have this gravel wall. We don't want that anymore. So we just change that out. So, in fact, let's change that out now. Let's take this. Whoops. And take that. Eh, we'll fix that. Put that there. Put that there. Okay. Looking good. So far, I like that. I like that. Okay, so how about this? Let's take this out of there too, just to kind of show you what, whoops, where we're going to go with it. It'll eventually look more like that. Okay, so there's the door, there's the thing. Okay, and now we have this whole area. And remember, we can walk out of here and we can keep building. But here we have this nice safe area to start with. So we're like, all right, what do we want to do? We could move our chests and stuff over here. Mon, make sure to put down some light while you're working so monsters don't spawn in your underwater base. That would not be any fun for you. And that's, that's basically how you do it, okay? So you're going to use the doors to make pockets of air that you can work from, okay? You're going to build a ceiling overhead, build some walls. And you can also do other stuff, like look at this. I'm going to, this is going to be funny, okay? I want to put some windows in, so I'm going to, like, break this open to put a window in, right? Oh no, there comes the water. It knocked my torch over, and it's terrible. And I'm, it's pushing me away, so I gotta swim over here, and that, but then uh, the glass, boom, and there we go. Okay. 
Simple. That was much easier. But so you see the difficulties? You got to put the windows in, but you're going to get water in from time to time as you go. So, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it too much. I'm going to do it over here as well. Just, you know, boom, boom, and get the water and the glass. Ugh. All right, but there's no, hmm. That's not a very good window, is it? All right, let's, 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 oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Fixed it. Let's put these torches up high. There we go, so the water won't keep knocking them down. That's what we'll do. We'll put them way up here. Lots of torches. All right, so anyway, so that's how you get windows into your underwater base, right? And you say, but Finn, it feels, it feels too cramped in here. I can barely jump up and down. It's like, okay, good, good call, good call. We are going to do something even cooler. Look at this. We're going to go over here. We're going to make some stairs. And remember, stairs just look like that. They look like stairs, right? And that makes four of them. So we're going to take these four right now. That seems good enough. And if you wanted to, you could simply dig out the floor, you know, one or more spaces, however many you wanted, right? And that way, by lowering the floor, you actually raise the ceiling. Look at that. See, that's kind of funny, right? So I'm going to take the stairs, put those like that. And next thing you know, all of a sudden, I have a much cooler underwater base. Now, I'm not going to destroy these because I don't want the doors to fall off and water to flood this, but we can deal with that later, right? So let's see. What's our next step in our underwater base? Uh, well, I do want to clear this out, and because it's underwater, I'll dig more slowly, so let's just get a door in there. Close it that way, okay, and I'll just dig this space. And remember, this is faster than standing underwater and trying to dig. See? See? It's so slow. Okay, so let's get back in here. Uh, let's get back in there. Uh, let's see. Take that down, take that down. We're making some space. Okay, I like that so far. And let's just start, you know, start, whoops, start making more doors, you know? Let's see. Let's put that there, and this here. And there we go. And we're going to keep doing this, and we're going to keep building out this little glass, like, roof here, so we can see what's going on underneath, because we think that'll look cool. And we're going to keep doing that and building out the walls. And I'll, I'm going to speed ahead to where I have... I've made some more walls and some more roofs so you can see kind of what's going on, okay? All right, see you on the other side. Okay, so I'm almost done with this last part here. I've kind of built this out a little bit as a hallway. I'm going to fill in the ceiling with glass so I can kind of see where I think it's going to be. I'm going to, I'm going to put a door here. Now notice I have to keep running back to the air. <gasps> there we go. Uh, because I've almost drowned a couple times out here accidentally. Just, you know, forgetting that I need air to breathe. All right, so, so we're going to do this. I like this so far. Okay, and watch this. We're going to put this here. Uh-oh, 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 water. Air, 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 air. Okay, found it. Good. Okay. Doing pretty well there. There we go. I'm going to seal that off, and then we're going to take... Do I have any more doors? I do. Where are they? There they are. We're going to take a couple doors. We're going to put them there and there for now. Open that. Breathe. And then we just gotta empty out all this. So let's. Oh, what's this? This should be. This should not be that way. Oops. Uh oh. Let me get under. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, and you should be there. And you should not be there. It takes too long. But you should definitely be there. Okay. So uh, there we go. Get through all that. So you see how we've we've started that? Let's let's take this out now and pop those doors off. And uh, uh oh. Whoops. Okay. Let's see. There's a hole in there somewhere. Let's figure out where it is. Let's see. Is it here? Oh, did I? Oh, here's the problem. See, look, there's a source block of water in there, which I forgot to get rid of. Let's just put a door in there. There we go. Is it? And there. Okay. There we go. That takes care of both of them. So, you see, that's all you gotta do is figure out where the source blotter, <laughs> source blotter, where's the source block of water coming from. Put a door there, and boom. All right. Let's see. So we should take this out now. That should be fine. Take out all of these. Yep. Oh, no. Okay, see, look, we forgot. We didn't put a roof here. All right, let's just put a roof there real quick. Okay, and this is how you know. This is how you know. If you make a mistake in your underwater base, you will know very quickly because water will be everywhere. Okay, let's try this. I think we're good here. Is that? Oh, no. Is this water? Yeah, see, look, I can just test right up. Okay, let's see. Boom. Okay, put that there. Get this here. All right, and we're clearing out the space. Let's see. Does that... Yeah, no, nope, no, nope, that didn't do it. All right, let's see. Now, let's take a look at this. See how these water blocks, they're still flowing? It, there's a couple different ways to take care of this. I could, I could do it this way, right, with the doors. Do I have any sand? I have some gravel, right? Okay, or I could take gravel, which works just as well as sand in this case. And look at this. Okay, let me just, hmm, this is hard to move. All right, let me put this here. 
Okay, so I stack that up like that. Boom. And I keep stacking it and clearing the water out. Now, it's pretty easy to do it this way because in a large space, I can take a torch like this. No, here's a trick. I'm going to dig out this block as fast as I can and then place the torch right in the same spot as quickly as possible. Okay, watch. Here go. One, and then, and then, ah, boom. See that? And the gravel falls. It can't land on the torch, so it just becomes a little gravel block instead of a, you know, it becomes gravel you can pick up, not gravel you can set down. All right, so that's a pretty cool trick. All right, let's get rid of this. Uh, see, we didn't fix it, though. Okay, I need more doors. More doors. These are all good doors. All right, take care of that. How about this? You need doors. All right, good. Huh. You don't need to be there. All right, because the because the gravel. All right, let's take this. Let's do the gravel trick again. Dig, 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 dig. Place torch. Bam! It falls down. That's kind of funny. Water is so weird, isn't it? All right, let's see. Let's just let's just put some more doors all right through here, through there. Dig this gravel out of the way. Okay, now this looks kind of silly. We have too many doors clearly, but we're gonna take out these doors like so. And once I've finished taking out all the doors, I think I need to leave this one here, don't I? Yeah, let's, let's, let's just put some more doors here. There we go. All right. And that, see, that should fix it. I think I have ceiling above those. Yep. So we take these out. There we go. And I think that means we can take, we're going to leave these, close them so we remember that they're there keeping water out. All right. And boom. We're going to take down these doors. And now we have the beginnings of an underwater base. Which is pretty cool, because you're thinking to yourself, now what do I do once I have this underwater base? Well, here's a couple things you could do. There's a couple things you could do. Now, notice the stone versus the glass. Okay, look at this. This stone is one block below water. Okay, so sometimes you're going to see water droplets. Look at that, see? Drip through. This is so, if you're about to dig up and you see water, you're like, wait, don't dig up there. Water will come through. And I'm not seeing that on the glass as much. I wonder if they change that in glass, because I see it on the stone. So look at this. I don't like the way that looks. Right? It looks a little drippy. So um, let's take let's take some of these, and we do that, and then we won't see that anymore. Same thing. Whoops. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not where that goes. Okay. And that goes right there. That looks better. And this look, that's wrong. That should be that should be this. Okay. But anyway, as you can see, eventually we can we can move the floor down if we want to. Let's make sure to put some lights in. We don't want we don't want monsters in here. And yeah, definitely put lights over here. Uh, you know what? Let's, just, let's do lights. Let's do lights like this. Let's do them up on the, up on the wall so they look kind of cool at least. Okay. And there we go. And maybe one more. Yeah, whatever. That's probably good enough, right? Okay. So we have all of the torches. We have set up the glass ceiling so we can see from outside. We've got the stone walls. Let's see what this looks like from the outside. Remember, we have it nice and lit up. So let's go up here. Do oh, I forgot to light this room up. Ha! Huh. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's dark out. Oh my, it's dark. Oh, I hope there's no monsters out here. Now, here we go. Uh, let's, let's see if we can find out. I don't see any monsters right yet. Okay, so that's good. Is that one up there? Maybe. All right, but look. Look at this. It's an underwater base down there. You're like, what is that? It's an underwater base. That looks kind of cool. You can see down underneath. We can put stuff in there, like carpets and other things. And the more we light it up, the easier it is to see from far off and underwater. So let's go under here. Walk on in. And boom, there we are in our underwater base. Now, I brought some other cool stuff with me, uh, which helps for underwater bases, like uh, this dirt. And let's see, this string, well, this string here, and these sticks, and this hoe right here. Let's put this here, let's put the, this thing over there. And oh, I need things to plant. Let's take some carrots. All right, so it's fun. What you can do underwater here is let's say you say, oh, I wish I had kind of um, a farm underwater right and I'm not I don't have a lot of space for it here yet I'm gonna eventually have to build out into there I guess but for now let's say you could hmm where's a good place for it? there's no good place for it let's let's make a, a silly place for it instead all right look at this you can do this put some water down boom okay next thing you know <laughs> you do like that and then you know you, you plant stuff in and you plant a little farm under under water here in your underwater base and that's cool Right, and you could live under here. You could you could eventually find a way to get uh, other animals down here. You could like make the doors wide. Oh, there's a zombie. Okay, uh, you make the doors wider. You could you know do all sorts of fun stuff. Get under the. There we go. It's easier to make stairs in some ways. It's easier to go downstairs and try to get up and down a ladder sometimes. Oh, okay. There we go. 
But that's just you know, the kind of beginning. This is this is nothing special so far, but this shows you, hopefully, this shows you what you can do, right? And are there any other tricks? Yes, there are. Okay, there is the cool fishing trick. Let's say you don't want to farm. Let's say you want to fish for your food instead. Let's see, what I think you need, is it like this? Is that how it looks? Let me see. Yeah, okay, see? So three like these and a string. It looks like a fishing rod. Take that fishing rod, put that here. And then we're gonna go fish, and it's funny because if you're underwater, all you gotta do is open your door, like that, and right click, and throw the lure out there, it's the bobbin lure, you see that? Now to fish in Minecraft, you're gonna wait until you see a lot of bubbles rushing towards that thing, and then you're gonna hit the right click button as soon as that dips. When the bubbles hit it and make it dip, you're gonna right click it, and that will give you usually a fish, sometimes a, a, a blowfish, so you can make underwater breathing potions, and sometimes other cool stuff like saddles and name tags, other things you can't see. But as you can see right now, I'm not seeing any bubbles yet. It's going to happen soon, though. Keep looking for them. We don't see them. This is not super exciting. But wait, wait, almost? Almost? No? Oh, there they go. Look at the boat. See them? And boom. Got it. Got a... Ooh, a red salmon. It's a fish. And you can cook those and eat those. And they're, they're pretty good. They're not bad. But, you know, that's something you can you can do in your underwater base. You can fish right from your door. That's all sorts of fun. You know, you can you can walk out and be like, where do I want to go and build more stuff? Oh, there's some squid over there. Oh, it's a spider. Look at that. It's a spider under the water. Look at him. Oh, a zombie. Oh, another Okay, wait. What are we doing out here? This is silly. Get, on, get in your base. Whoops. Get, that's silly. Okay. Now, notice monsters don't really go underwater. Okay? They always try to swim up. So, I'm actually safe. This guy could follow me over here, and I'd be like, ha-ha! And I'd swim under here, and I could just walk away and be like, whatever. I could leave these doors open. It doesn't matter. Monsters can't come in here because they won't swim down. So, you know, that's cool. All right, anyway, just good practice, though. Always close your doors. And that is the beginning of how you make an underwater base. Is that is that cool? Does that show you uh, what you need to know? Oh, one more thing. One more thing to show you, uh, which is kind of fun. Did I make a bunch of signs? I did. I made some signs. Let's put them over here. I didn't even need to come back here. But I did. Too late now. All right. Anyway. So I just I just edited some stuff out because I was doing stuff with signs, and I was wrong. So I didn't want you to learn wrong stuff. So, But still, you can do some fun stuff with signs. Like you put signs here, for instance. And look at that. See? Now I can breathe. I can stand here and breathe. Same thing. I can put a sign there. And it's just like having a door, but there's two of them. So that's kind of fun. And remember, so signs, doors, and ladders are all good things for keeping water from getting through spaces. And remember also, the torch trick, this this will save your life sometime when you're out there in Minecraft underwater, like, oh no, I can't breathe. What am I gonna do? Don't remember. Don't don't forget, just do this. Boom. Look at that. Full air bubbles. Super easy. And that's I think that's I think that's it. I think that's where we're gonna call it for today. And I can do cool stuff. I can put like you know, better floors down here, and better walls, and carpets, and I can make rooms over there for the garden and junk, and that's all cool, but this is how you begin it. So hopefully that has given you everything you need to know to get started building your very own underwater base, and I will see all of you guys, oh, it's so dark, I'll see you all in the next episode if I can get home safely. Alright, I'm, oh, uh, oh, uh, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Ow! Ah! Who's shooting me? Oh, it's oh, a skeleton. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, oh, no, no. Please, 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 please. Run, run, run. Swim, swim, swim. Can you still shoot me from there? I don't think so. I think I'm it far enough away. Um, oh, and this whole... I need to build a staircase. This is so dangerous. Because there's that cave over there, and that cave over there, and that cave over there, and that cave over there. And I don't want to fall into it I'm trying to get up here. And skeletons can shoot at me. Oh, look. See my underwater base over there? That looks pretty cool, huh? All right, let's see. All right, kids. Well, I am about to go home and go to bed so these monsters won't eat me. And I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye-bye.